good morning everyone and a happy monday these are the first words that are coming out of my mouth um it is early it is seven o'clock jackson woke up i think at like six something 6 30 maybe so we're just hanging out and we're gonna see how long how long he wants to stay up i don't know how long he wants to stay up but i'm making some coffee to see what he wants right now. I don't know if he wants his toy. He's doing tummy time right now, so it's kind of a, a doozy sometimes. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna drink some coffee, have some Jesus time, and then probably put away some dishes and do some laundry. We'll see. I'm kind of like I'm really tired today. I can I can tell my body is like. I need to relax, I need to chill out, and I need to um, not do much today. Whoa, that's crooked. I need to not do much today, but just hang out with the kids um, and maybe do a couple house chores, but other than that, um, and I think I might take the kids to the library. I have a late fee on one of my books. Um, I turned it in already, but I need to go pay the late fee, and then I thought we'd hang out at the library for a little bit, so that might be some fun. Elena is just, like, really starting to get into books now, which is exciting to me because I have so many books. I'm actually a, um, Usborne consultant just for fun, um, and so I am excited for her to start reading books because I have a ton of Usborne books and I'm obsessed with the Usborne books. Um, he's moving around and it's so funny to watch because he's not crawling. He's trying to crawl, but he's not crawling. There's a gnat on his plate flying around. But um, anyways, so I'm excited for him to start reading books and being excited about books and I'm going to be more intentional about books with Jackson um now because i know that it starts when they're young so look at him Jaxie, did you find your book do you want to sit up mama of a little little guy or a little little girl do you how long can you let them cry it out for tummy time because it's not long for me like I, I have to pick him up I have to let's see how long he lasts on his back yesterday he flipped over a couple times like consecutively I put him on his back if he was on his belly the next time I looked at him let's see He loves that bell. He loves it. There we go. This little toy right here I got when Elena was, I think, three months old um, from Amazon, and I'm obsessed. It's so sweet. He's looking at the mirror. That's right there. It's a little mirror. Yep. Is that the mirror? I think it's the mirror. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. You like your bell? Huh? Do you like your bell? Mama needs to drink a coffee. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, sir. Good morning to Jackson. Good morning to you. 
So I'm a creamer person um, with like sugar and stuff, but I have been trying sweet cream lately and I really, really like it. I really like this Almond Breeze co uh, Almond Milk Creamer. It's really good. So that is what I've been using lately. We are sitting down, we've got our oil, we've got our baby, we pooped, so we changed him. Um, we've got our coffee, we've got our Bible, and we're sitting down. We're gonna see how long this lasts. There he goes again. Flipped over already. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what I like to do when I do my sit down devotions. Obviously, my Bible. Um, this is a, like, um, a devotional book, and I'll kind of show you guys a little bit. It's called The Family Altar, and a friend of mine, um, gave this to me, um, and I believe, I want to say it's from Canada. I could very well be very wrong, but, yep, it's in Canada. It's from Canada. Um, so anyways, um, she gifted this to me, and then... My mom, I think, also reads this one. And then I like to, if I have time, read The Power of a Praying Wife. This book is everything. I I love this book. It is such a good read. It's on Amazon. I also, I actually got this copy at a thrift store. Um, let me grab Jackson. All right, we got him in here. <laughs> He's still a little bit wobbly, so I put the blanket around him. <laughs> okay, so this is the family altar. It goes by days. It's a year um, devotional, and it gives, like, the Bible verse and the devotion. And then it gives you some more um, verses to read off of, which I really, really like. Um, so this is my daily devotion. And then I just have my notebook, Power of Praying Wife, and then my actual Bible so let's have some Jesus time. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? What? What? Are you serious? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I, I, I'm doing devotions and you're distracting me. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. Boo. I love you. Boo. We have been attempting nap time for two hours now for both of my children. Jackson has fallen asleep, but I put him down and he's up in 10 minutes. But I think, I think Sims is ready. What do you think? What do you think, mister? What do you think? <laughs> you ready? You want my phone? You wanna hold it? You wanna hold the camera? I have yet to get any housework done. I put a load in the laundry, but I still haven't done anything with the house. But that's okay. I'll talk about it in my um, previous video on how to set your um, week up to be stress-free. Basically, I have another video talking about how I set my week up to be stress-free. And this is a part of that, okay? It doesn't all get done when you want to get when it when you want it to get done but it does get done <laughs> i love you jackson but it's time to go night night so mommy can do some chores okay sister finally just went down 
she pooped two times she wanted to play it was all the things all the things really quickly you guys there is essential oil there is this essential oil from young living that was gifted to me called digize forget it you're constipated real talk here you're constipated digize your baby is constipated digize my my baby's jackson pooped this morning within 15 minutes of it being going on like within it diffusing and elena has pooped twice today it works you cannot tell me otherwise so anyways we're gonna get mr to sleep and then we're gonna you and i you and i we're gonna clean cutting apron Nathan is home and I got most of my stuff done I just didn't get to our bedroom and that's okay I have time to do our bedroom but now I'm gonna go cut Nathan's hair and it's a ball good job so um yeah we cleaned up the house everything is clean that's the skirt I need to put away and I'm gonna cut Nathan's hair so here we go Okay, so Nathan got his hair cut. I had to change because I got hair all over me and it was very itchy. Um, it is quiet time around the house right now. It is currently three o'clock. Jackson is taking his nap and I don't wanna jinx it, but I'm pretty sure this is the longest nap that he's gonna have. He's kind of getting somewhat into like his like routine um and i've noticed like in the mornings he doesn't take a very long nap um maybe like maybe like um 20 20 minutes and then um he'll take like another one or maybe like two more and then around three or four he'll take a good solid like hour hour and a half and then i try to keep him from sleeping after what is it 5.30. I don't want him sleeping past 5.30 or 6.30. Is it 6.30? I can't remember. Because his bedtime is at 9. 8. We start bedtime at 8 o'clock. What is happening? <gasps> we start bedtime at 8 o'clock. And then by the time... This is ridiculous. By the time... Um, nine o'clock hits, he's usually in bed. Um, unless it's just one of those nights, you know? You can't really plan a bedtime for a five-month-old. Not even five months. He is four months old. Um, and he'll be five months on June 13th. <gasps> Today's the 13th. <gasps> oh, Jackson's five months old today. Don't cry. You don't want me to cry. When you have a baby one day, you'll understand. Oh, my word. 
I can't believe he's five months old today. I'm pretty sure today is the 13th. I'm pretty sure today is the 13th. Yep, today is the 13th. Cooking? It's cooking. Um, we had a bit of a snack, some hummus and veggies and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say I ate any of it because I didn't. I tried to, but I don't like vegetables. I cannot stand them. I like fruit. And I like my greens that I put in my smoothies. Now that, my total greens, that's good but I don't like vegetables. Don't do it, I don't like it. Not a fan, not a fan. So, anyways. I like this also. I think we're gonna let dad take a little nappy. He's taking a shower right now, getting the day off of him and the hair I just shaved off his head. And probably have some quiet time. I might watch a little movie with Elena after she eats her mac and cheese. Yeah. I think so. Today seems like a movie day. Um, I got all my stuff done except for our bedroom and I need to fold Nathan's work clothes that he, or that I washed today. But other than that, I'm pretty proud of what we did and accomplished today. And it's very hot outside. So I need to go shut my blinds in there because it's hot. Hi sister. <laughs> um, and then hopefully we will go to the library before it closes. I don't know what time it closes. I need to check that, but we go to the library, I will bring you guys along. <laughs> so I kind of thought I would show you guys what I'm making for dinner. Yeah. So I am making makeshift seafood boil. Makeshift, okay? Not claiming that this is a crawfish boil, I'm literally throwing things in the Dutch oven and calling it my makeshift seafood boil. I got shrimp, I got potatoes, I got um, sausage, a um, bunch of butter, Cajun seasoning, and then I gotta go to the store real quick and grab some corn to go in there as well, because I mean, come on, you need corn. Um, and that's what we're having for dinner. <laughs> Never done it, I'll let you guys know how it turns out, but I'm excited. Um, to see if it turns out good or if it's like never cook this again. But I don't see why it would turn out bad. Butter, shrimp, potatoes. But I'm doing it now so that my potatoes can cook and it's 3.30 so hopefully, I'm hoping, I have, it'll be done by dinner time. We'll see. But I'll keep you guys updated because I really hope this works. I've been trying Dutch oven recipes because i just got this dutch oven and i'm obsessed with it i love cooking in it for some reason i feel like a chef when i cook in it and i i just love it i just love it okay so i just put in my butter my butter 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 got shrimp in there now it's just gonna cook oh i need some more seasoning Daddy's sleeping on the couch. Yeah, baby, daddy's sleeping on the couch. And then we'll cover it. <laughs> cover it to cook. And I'll let you guys know. Oh, comment down below if you have a Dutch oven and what you like to cook in it because I have so many ideas, but I would like to know the best things to cook in Dutch ovens and like, do not try this in a Dutch oven. I really wanna try bread. I am not a homemade bread person. I would love to be. I get a fly. That's something, huh? I get fly. Oh, you're gonna get the fly? I blow it. You blow it? Yeah. Good job. Um, so anyways, I wanna learn how to make bread and stuff. And I also wanna learn how to make bread in my Dutch oven because I think that that would just be delicious. So that's what we got going on right now for dinner. Nathan's taking this little nappy. Elena's eating some mac and cheese. I'm gonna run to the store really quick and grab some corn and throw that in. Okay, we are going to the library now because daddy's asleep. Um, I've got dinner pretty much ready. I just have to add like the corn and I got some more shrimp because I didn't realize I should wait to put the shrimp in because in like 10 minutes it was rubber. So I took it out and bought more shrimp. <laughs> Um, 
and I'll add that right before we are ready to eat, but he needs a nap. It is 4.50, the library closes at six, so we're gonna go hang out at the library for a little bit, let him sleep, and uh, just go hang out and read some books and have fun. So, see you there. Even when Roberto was little, he went against the grain. Like most termites, he melted over maple and pined for pine. Oak was a Okay, we are going, my hair, to sign off for the night. Mom, dinner I'm was dinosaur. very good. I was I'm happy with dinosaur. it. You're a dinosaur? You want to show them you're a dinosaur? Dinosaur! What's a dinosaur say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm dinner was really, really good. I'll post I'm a picture dinosaur. of it, of what it looked like before we ate it. Um, but it was really good. Elena, don't drink that. Don't drink that. You're a dinosaur. Um, we're going to have some family time. I'm going to clean up supper, clean the kitchen again. And then, um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys had for supper tonight. I would love to know. Um, we're going to have some family time. Right, babe? Right. Do you like your haircut? Show on the side. A little fading action. If you cut hair for a living, Alina, do not come for me. I'm trying. I'm trying with the haircuts. But anyways. We will Mommy, see you guys ahead. soon. Mommy, Bye. 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 <laughs>